These are the Daily Tech Headlines for Friday, July 12, 2024. I'm Rob Dunwood. AT&T confirmed Friday that it will begin notifying nearly 110 million consumers of a data breach where phone records of nearly all AT&T customers containing phone numbers of both cellular and landline users, as well as AT&T records of calls and text messages during a six-month period between May 1, 2022 and October 31, 2022, has been stolen. Stolen data also includes call records of customers whose phone service from other cell services rely on AT&T's network. The stolen data does not contain the content of the calls or text, but does contain metadata. AT&T became aware of the data breach, which affected its cloud data service provider Snowflake on April 19th. AT&T is working with the FBI to arrest the cybercriminals involved in the breach, and at least one person who is not an AT&T employee has been apprehended. The European Union has warned the social media platform X that its blue checkmark verification system violates the Digital Services Act following an investigation into the platform. The EU says that changes made to X's blue checkmark system, which allow any user to be verified, prevent users from determining the authenticity of other accounts they interact with and that there is evidence that malicious actors are abusing the system to intentionally deceive users. X has now the opportunity to defend itself in response, but could face a formal action and fines of up to 6% of global revenue if grievances are not addressed. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket suffered a rare failure for the first time in nearly seven years. A second stage engine failed to reignite roughly an hour after liftoff from the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California on Thursday night. The malfunction caused 20 Starlink satellites to be deployed into a much lower orbit than planned, where they risk being burned up in the Earth's atmosphere. Elon Musk said SpaceX was updating the Starlink satellite software to force their onboard thrusters to fire harder than usual to avoid a fiery atmospheric reentry. But he noted, unlike Star Trek episodes, this will probably not work, but it's worth a shot. Amazon announced on Friday that Rufus, the company's AI-powered shopping assistant, is now live for all U.S. customers in the Amazon mobile app. The assistant lives at the bottom right of the app's main navigation bar and is designed to offer customers help with finding products, performing product comparisons, and getting recommendations on what to buy. To access Rufus, U.S. customers need only be in the latest version of the Amazon shopping app. Google announced up to a five times increase in its Vulnerability Reward Program, or VRP, with a maximum payout of $151,515 for a single flaw. As our systems have become more secure over time, we know that it is taking much longer to find bugs. With that in mind, we're very excited to announce that we're updating our reward amounts by up to 5x, Google said. Since its Vulnerability Reward Program was launched in 2010, Google has paid more than $50 million in bounties to security researchers who reported more than 15,000 vulnerabilities. Come September 25th, Amazon is breaking all of its $2,350 Astro for Business robots that were just released eight months ago. Amazon on Wednesday sent emails to employees working on Astro for Business and customers telling them that the device will stop working on September 25th. Amazon will refund customers the full purchase price for the robots and give them a $300 Amazon credit. It will also refund unused prepaid subscription fees. Starting August 5th, CapCut will stop offering free cloud storage to host creative assets. Users of the popular video editing software made by TikTok's parent company ByteDance started receiving emails this week, letting them know that the free one gigabyte of storage would be going away and that users would now have to pay for cloud storage. CapCut offers a $2.49 per month plan for 100 gigabytes of storage and a $7.49 per month plan for 1,000 gigabytes of storage. And finally, the Apple Vision Pro is going on sale in the UK, Canada, Australia, France, and Germany. This is the second expansion of Apple's $3,500 mixed reality headset outside of the United States. The device went on sale June 28th in mainland China, Hong Kong, Japan, and Singapore after initially launching in the U.S. on February 2nd. For more discussion of the tech news of the day, subscribe to DailyTechNewsShow.com. You can find show notes and links to all the headlines there as well. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.